All right, so I know it's still summer series here. This will be the last summer series video. The coveted gear bag of a former college swimmer. All right, first things first. Handy dandy kickboard. It's gotta be hard though. No soft crap in here. Great for kicking. It's a kickboard. That's basically it. The one thing that you could utilize a kickboard other than kicking is just to kind of like lounge around. But um, kickboard's really great for just isolating your kick. I always put both hands on the board like so in order to really just isolate my kick. I never push it out too far in front of me or never sit under it. That's just it. Next up, we have the pole buoy here. Great for in between your legs. If you're just really working on isolating your pole, again, self-explanatory, put it in between your legs, squeeze tight, you are good to go. And that is a pole buoy there. The one bonus of a pole buoy, you don't need a kick, but you can get away with a little cheater kick with your with your ankle flexion here and there. Um, but the pole buoy is just to really isolate how you're pulling and catching the water. Primarily use it just for freestyle. Next up, to complement the pole buoy, we've got some old raggedy paddles. These have lasted me all of college and beyond. I super glued them together because I got mad one time and I threw them and they broke. So, um, and I think this one's newer than this one because of the sun damage, but, um, a right and a left great for freestyle drills. And again, I get a little bit bigger sized, um, paddles just because I want to catch more water than my hand allows me to. So I get a good feel of my initial catch. That's the best way to complement them is to use it with the pole buoy here at the same time. If you just really wanna focus on pulling, it's very hard to keep a consistent six beat kick without a pole buoy using the paddles. So you can either just use the paddles, you could use the paddles and the pole buoy, or you could just use the pole buoy there. Again, just mainly just for freestyle stuff. Next up, I got some long fins. Uh, I go a size down from what I normally wear in street shoes, just cause I wanna make sure that they're tight. Long fins are great for um, speed work, some fast swimming, um, some easy swimming too if you really want to focus on your stroke efficiency, if you really just want to not really care too much about your kick. But again, you want to focus on uh, some pole. You can use it there, but mainly uh, long fins are used for some fast 25, some 50s, nothing really over 100 of fast stuff with fins on. Um, but I love, 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 love fins because it really focuses on, it's basically an extension. It's a flipper for your feet. Um, so I use long fins every once in a while now. Uh, I used them a lot in college for freestyle and backstroke and butterfly sets. Um, but mainly now just for some freestyle fast stuff. Last but not least, uh, the old moldy, uh, yeah, it's moldy. Uh, frontal snorkel this is great for again seeing your stroke and um, wearing it for freestyle because if it's a side snorkel you're gonna run into some drag issues so go with a frontal snorkel that you put on and you can use for some freestyle drills there sculling or some six kicks and switch to really see yourself catch the water. So this little swim video series, uh, one, it's not really summer, being in September, but uh, we'll see what the next series brings us, but hopefully these little nuggets and tidbits and videos allow you to gain some knowledge on swimming here. As always, we'll see you in the next one, and go make it a great day.